Hey Darren. Alright, so the question you asked was why do we have the major and minor scales and why are these used to make music? Um, so you did mention that you knew about uh, the intervals and why those are used. So while we're talking about that I'll kind of recap that because it kind of goes along with it. So of course you know like how the intervals were set up and everything was based on standardization and mathematics because it was a good way to standardize um, music around the world, especially with instruments and stuff with mass production. So of course, because of mass production, they have to choose certain scales. So a lot of people use the pentatonic scale in the world. And the five in pentatonic actually refers to the intervals, not the notes. Um, but that, of course, you already knew. Because there's, in fact, six notes, of course, five intervals. So... But when you're talking about the major and minor scales in particular, um, the reason the arrangements were set up the way they are is if you can Google or look up on YouTube the major and minor scales and hear the sound of them, you'll realize that the major scale is actually set up with happier tones and the minor scale uses tones of sorrow. And they were set up that way for a reason because in music, a lot of the arrangements are like an emotional journey, especially a lot of the classical stuff. And the reason happiness and sorrow are separated into these two scales because it determines not only when you're using the scales, but it determines the flow of the song and the emotional roller coaster that they take you on. Um, which is why you hear a lot of people talk about um, like feeling the music whenever you're listening to the music and being a part of it. Um, so that's why the bigger differences between the major and minor scales is actually emotion. And they found that those were tones that were more associated with emotion. Um, and of course the spacing of the scales themselves was based on the Gregorian Pythagorean system. I hate math. Anyway, you know that was the frequencies and ratios were what helped get the intervals because it made it was used as simple as possible and it tended to be most appealing to the ear which is why they used those ratios and stuff um, and the way the sound heard was most pleasing which is what again came with the major and minor scales the tones that sounded happier and sounded brighter and bigger were put in the minor scale and those that made it more sorrowful and uh, sharper were in the minor scale. So one of the things that I thought was interesting that you can look up and listen to is uh, gamelan music. And what makes gamelan music different, especially for people that are used to listening to Western music, is you know what an octave is, and that refers to the interval with the two to one ratio that's found in uh, most Western music. Well, gamelan is different because their octaves are not that exact ratio, two to one. Um, it's either compressed or expanded. Uh, so when you hear it, it often sounds like, when you're not sure what you're listening to, it sounds like they're making mistakes or the tones are just off. But it's actually really complex. They're not just playing randomly. Like, it's a really complex set of music. But it's really cool to listen to. Um, and they use the cilantro and the paylog scales. Um, and that's why it sounds so different, but it is really cool to listen to if you want to listen to something completely a change from Western music, that is. So because the major and minor scales are set up the way they are, listening to music with your heart is where some of those expressions come from because they were based off of emotions. And when you hear the tones from the major and minor scales uh, played on the piano, you can hear that the best. Or, I'm, I haven't heard it with a violin, but I'm guessing a violin or any other string instrument would be really good, too, to hear that tone. If they did the major and minor scales in order, then you can hear it better. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's why the major and minor scales are used and how they were set up and why. It's based on emotion, and music is really emotional. And there is a science to it, but the science part was mostly on the mathematics of using how they set up the intervals and ratios.
So, my question for you now is, why don't humans have tails when many other mammals do? I'm not sure if we're the only ones that don't have tails, but I know a lot of